I think it's great that the Chambers uh, put together something for um, artisan people who are local making their stuff handmade, put it together so we can come out and show what we do and sell our stuff. I'm a metalsmith jeweler. Most of my jewelry is focused on nature, ocean. I just love making jewelry. So I'm here to talk about all of our sustainability programs, opportunities for residents in the community, and help people be more sustainable. Well, as part of our Keep It Clean Malibu campaign to help people learn how to prevent pollution from getting to the ocean by preventing runoff, preventing any kind of toxic chemicals from leaving their properties, and preventing things like litter from blowing off, we had a big art component, which was painting storm drains throughout the city of Malibu. So we hired a local artist, Lindsay Karen, and she painted four beautiful storm drains to, with ocean sea life to remind people that anything that goes down those drains does ultimately end up at the ocean. I'm Jim Reiner and I take old surfboards that have been just decimated to nothing and I take make fine art out of them. If you, any of these end up in the landfill, it takes over a million years for it to break down. And so I carve them up, paint them up, and make some cool stuff for your house or around by your pool or out on your patio. He's, uh, he's one of the uh, judges of the art show. Oh, I think that he would be, well, he's very artful looking, well, that's yeah. great. That's yeah, he knows good from bad. Jody Val Massey and I work in acrylic medium and it's a really fun, vibrant painting style. Today is the second day of our 44th annual Malibu Arts Festival and uh, we're really proud to be here hosting this event in conjunction with many supporting agencies like the City of Malibu, the County of Los Angeles, uh, many local businesses, other nonprofits are here as well. We are Shanna Radishaw and Jed Swanson, and we have iTunes. We take broken, battered, non-working guitars and turn them into pieces of art. It's been great, as usual. Most of the customers that came, uh, they're just looking forward to seeing me again. So it's, it's kind of like a love fest for me. So it's all about fun and love and respect for everybody. So it's, it's been great. My name is Drew. David. David, we're here visiting the various artists. We have a few of the pieces that are on display here and the various artists that we came to support them but also see new work. In fact, uh, we saw a piece um, here last year and we decided to buy it this year. So um, just adding to our collection, we love the arts. We love to support the artists um, in what they do. So that's why we're here. We come back every year. We're dedicated to our town of Malibu. The arts are being supported by this confab, and the art of medicine is being supported in CERT by teaching everybody the best approach to the patient. My name is Jody. We're from the Lucky Lab. It's my sister-in-law's business and my brother's. We hand make our own biscuits, and all our other goodies are made here in the U.S. I'm Brooke Halpin. I'm the host of Come Together with the Beatles, which airs on Malibu's very own 97.5 KVU and worldwide on RadioMalibu.net. I'm here to play Beatles songs, which I did. I was taking requests from the people who come to this wonderful arts festival, which I've been, by the way, coming for years. So it's very exciting for me to actually participate as a quote-unquote DJ and a broadcaster. The Malibu Arts Festival provides a unique opportunity for artists to display their work. We're very fortunate to have much of Malibu's community as well as surrounding communities come in to support the arts. What does that mean for us? Well, 
If you're supporting the arts in Malibu, you're taking something home with you today. We judge our success based on the folks that are walking out with paintings, photography, jewelry, ceramics, uh, a carved piece, and it's all, it's all gorgeous. Next year will be our 45th annual Malibu Arts Festival, and we invite everyone to join us on the last weekend of July in 2016.